this one spot in the garden <laughs> that the sun hits. And he just... He's just right at home. You can't see me because the sun is in your eyes. Pretty boy. He's got this little dirt patch. <laughs> oh, buddy. It's, um... 8.48, or 10 to 9, I guess, and I'm going to my ortho appointment. I was going to vlog the other day and then didn't because I was tired. I've not eaten, so I'm very tired, um, but I'm going to go in and hopefully get my bottom retainer taken off. Anna. Anna, perfect. Um, can you come on over here? Can you do some hand sanitizer, please? Sure, yeah. And I'll have you fill one of the little questionnaires out. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Today, hey? yeah. Your hair's so blonde now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, that was the most uncomfortable thing. It feels really weird not having anything on the inside of my bottom teeth now, because it's been there for a year. And I actually feel kind of straighter, which is not a thing that's not how it works and that weird goopy thing that they use to make the mold does not taste good <laughs> and it stings after because they she was like prying at the bar trying to get it off so now my gums are bleeding i have to come back in an hour to get my retainer so i'm gonna go to tim's and then probably just go home i think we have to grocery shop later anyway so we'll be coming back out again but yeah i'm gonna get tim's because i'm hungry and then we're gonna go home I'm gonna wrap my keys around my fingers if I don't need the keys to open the door. Hi, look at you in the sunbeam. Good morning. Good stretch. Good stretch. Hi, how are you? You made your breakfast? Now you're bathing yourself? Good twitch. Good twitch. Hi, hello. How are you doing? This is a really good light. The sun's coming up. Um, one thing I've learned from these early mornings is that the day is so much more productive when you get up early and do stuff. <laughs> you have like the whole day. Even if it takes you five hours to wake up, you're still ready by like noon. Also, my dentist insists that they know when you floss and when you don't floss. I don't want floss. I flossed only before going to appointments and they had no idea, so. Just by the way, take care of your teeth and you're fine. <laughs> but you should probably floss, just because it's good for you. You see this, this blood? That's the result of flossing only for your appointment. It hurts, don't do it. Last year for my birthday, I did something that was like literally inspired by, if not stolen from, uh, something that Jenna has done a couple of years in the past which um, was, you know, X amount of life lessons I've learned in X amount of years. So last year I did 18 life lessons I learned in 18 years. And the way that I did it was <laughs> like a week before my birthday. Oh, sorry, those are all the notes from this year. Um, a week before my birthday, I sat down and thought about all of the things that I'd learned um, because it was a very important year for me and I kind of grew up a lot and learned a lot of things. And I want to do it this year, but I don't want to leave it to the last minute. I want to write notes down. I don't know if I did any like silly ones last year. I can't remember if there was like one comedic one or something. I just lost my pen again too. Gratitudes is the other thing. I want to do like 19 things that I'm grateful for. Like do a pattern kind of. Anyway, on top of that, my teeth hurt. <laughs> also, if we're talking about gratitudes, one thing I'm really grateful for I don't have this in Norway, and I'm gonna miss it. I don't 
understand how garbage can accumulate so much in one vehicle. I'm going back to Tim Hortons because that's where Canadians live, so. I don't understand how that's happening. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna go. The audio might be really short. I used to work here. I didn't keep the job because I didn't need the job, so I didn't really value it that much, you know? And now I'm kind of regretting it. Now I'm back to the point of debating whether or not I'm just gonna go in and beg the manager to give me another chance. I don't know how well that would go over, but I'm definitely tempted. I just sent all my contact info to my friends, and everybody's messaging me now. I'm gonna go pick up my dad, and then we're gonna go to the ortho to pick up my retainer, and then we have to go to Excuse me, Aurora. Wait. <laughs> and then we have to go to London Drugs. I just had, I was just seeing Amber. Um, I gotta get good at this vloggy thing if I wanna film the whole trip to another country. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so awkward. Retainer, and I'm getting spam messaged by so many people. It's very, very snug. Is that it okay? It should be very, very okay. snug. Yeah. Okay, the top one's enough? okay. The top one's a little bit looser. That's why I was like concerned about it, but I think it's fine. Because the top, so this is the bottom one you yeah. got today. Yeah. So that because it's brand new, it will be really okay. snug. As you wear it over time, it will loosen up a little okay. bit, but it should always be nice and awesome. nice and tight. Okay, okay good. Thank, Thank, you so Thank you so much. much. Thanks. Yeah. And just like that, it's over. We tend to our wounded and we count our dead. Whenever my hair air dries, it does this weird. Thing in the middle and it's so annoying the advice that I would have to give is wear your retainer <laughs> it's I don't understand for people losing them breaking them dropping them like it I, I, I just don't get it it's not that difficult keep them in the case they're supposed to be in wear your retainer as long as you want straight teeth wear them at night it's really easy and it's worth it you know it costs a lot of money so put the effort in in other news Griffin is almost 14 months, almost 14 months, so just over a year old. I saw him last week at some point when I was out. I saw Chase out with him, so I stopped and said hello because I hadn't seen him since his birthday. I don't know how many more times this year I get to see him before I go, but hopefully I can say goodbye at least, I'm hoping. I have no idea what she'll be okay with, but I would like to say goodbye to him. And other than that, I'm working on just kind of like taking in this year and everything in my life because like I'm really treating it as the last year here, like last birthday with my family and last Christmas, last Halloween, whatever. So I want to take advantage of it. I have a wish list on Amazon that I'm working through for like GoPro and a video camera and other things like that that I'll need for the trip. I'm looking into luggage and how it'll be with the dog because I don't think he can come with. So I'm currently the plan right now is to go hopefully on the 12th of january 2021 if borders are open and flights are available what we're waiting on is to see how sparky's health is because if he's in great condition and he's fine then i'm probably just gonna go without him and see if i can figure things out there get a place to live and then come back for him and fly him in if his health is not so great but questionable but like okay then i'm gonna go across canada instead we're gonna go on a road trip together and if his health is really not good then i'm just gonna stay and postpone everything and sit with him and take him to beaches and whatever and do all those fun things so that's kind of where we're at right now it'll be easier to go alone anyway for the first time because i want to fly straight into bergen like i said before i don't want to go to oslo if i don't have to and if I have a pet, then I have to go to Oslo because it's the main city and I, I want to avoid that. So if I can go alone, I can go straight to Bergen. It's more cost effective, it's more time effective, and it's more what I want. <laughs> so that's the plan. Fly out on Tuesday, the 12th of January, to Bergen, and then go from there. 
figure things out, see who I have to talk to. We'll probably have to go to Oslo to talk to like agencies and whatever anyway. That's where we're at. <laughs> and that'll probably change because it's already changed a whole bunch without notice because things just come up. This is how life goes, I guess. For my birthday this year, I want to do kind of something that I did last year. Life lessons that I learned, things that I'm grateful for, and something else, whether it's like... I, I kind of want to do favorite songs because music is really important to me and <laughs> music marks points in my life. Like I was looking back at things that I used to listen to and it just, I can put myself exactly where I was listening to that music. Maybe like things that I'm thankful for or things that I like, I don't know. But I'm kind of thinking something along those lines. Next year is a mi another milestone. I've got like <laughs> three milestones in a row here. But next year is a bigger birthday and it's important to me entering like this new stage of life. It's like a whole other, I don't even know how to explain it. I mean, it's a new decade of my life. It's, you know, the third decade. So I'm very excited for that. And I think it'll be even more surreal if I can celebrate it alone where I want to be and not here. So I'm really hoping that everything goes to plan and I can be there where I belong. Trying so hard, hoping, working, and it'll work when it's supposed to, you know, even if we don't agree with it, even if it takes longer than we'd like it to. I think it's still important. If we if we don't go, then there was a reason we weren't meant to go at that time. I just gotta get the hell out of here, <laughs> which is why we're gonna hit the road in January. If I can't fly, we're gonna drive. That's it. That's the life update. I don't want to sit here forever. I should probably start editing this. I don't know how much more of the day that I'm gonna vlog because... It's kind of icky. I kind of want to go out and write, but it's also very hot. So, we'll see. I might go to Westwood. We could go to Westwood. Maybe we'll go to Westwood. Go pee or you can't come! Come here! Ready to go? A little while ago, I got a new instrument that I've been learning how to play, but I'm not really good at it.
completely forgot to wrap this up earlier because it is too hot to function and I'm not thinking clearly. Didn't do anything for the rest of the day. Didn't get around to editing. It's too hot. I just... It's too hot. My lipstick is running off of my eyes because it's too hot. <laughs> and it's not pleasant to sit anywhere or do anything. So that's it. I'm gonna wash this off and go to bed. That's all. It's really anticlimactic. I really gotta write more tomorrow. That's it. That's the agenda. And it's not gonna happen. Guaranteed. Good night. <laughs> Goodbye.